<laughs> Holy shit. I can't believe we actually pulled that off. Oh, come off it, Cupcake. That's not what I meant. Of course I thought my plan would work. What do you take me for? It's not an insult to your abilities either. Christ, I'm well aware of those. But you can't deny this whole thing was a thrill. I can hear your heart beat. Sure, blame it on the exercise. Speaking of, we really can't stop running now. They'll find the body any second. Ah, those human legs of yours are already tired out. And here I was, thinking you were a hunter. We don't have a minute, Cupcake. Fine. I suppose I'll have to save your neck a second time. Come here. Oh, stop squirming. This way you get to rest and I get a nice warm armful and we don't get caught. Yes, we. I'm a culprit too now, remember? Though, I suppose I could pretend I managed to track you down and capture you. Kidding! I already told you, I'm not sharing. And they'd take ages with you before they let me have any fun. Questioning you about your organization, how you found this location, if there are any other hunters backing you up. That kind of dull bullshit. Well... It's not the kind of stuff I'd ask if I had you tied to a chair. I'll tell you that much. Ah, curious about my future date ideas. Sorry, Cupcake, but those are going to stay a surprise. Done with your temper tantrum now. Well, I wouldn't call this demeaning. If anything, carrying you is embarrassing for me. I'm catering you through the woods like a pack horse. <laughs> All right then. I'll forget this ever happened, if you will. Did you drive here? Should I be trying to circle around so we can speed off in that rust bucket of yours? Well, stick me in the sun and call me a birthday candle. I didn't think I'd see the night you left that thing behind. Though I suppose it would be a dead giveaway that you shouldn't be allowed in. I took a limo here. Like a respectable fucking person, if you need to know. Why would I need a driver's license? Oh, quit laughing. I've been driving cars longer than you've been alive. I just don't bother with keeping up with renewing my documents every decade or so. It's a bitch to slog through the DMV over and over again, even if I can smooth things over with my charms. Yes, I mean enthralling them. What else would I mean? I flirt with you because you make fun noises when you're offended, darling. 
I'm not about to come on to a happily married 56-year-old public servant who just wants to clock out and see their kids. I prefer a refined palate over picky eater, thank you. Speaking of which... Hey, hey! We already talked about the squirming! I'm not going to bite you now. We're not out of the woods yet. Literally and figuratively. But you agreed to the deal. And don't tell me you won't keep your word, hero. Of course it was under duress. But you're the one who dug yourself into a hole you couldn't get yourself out of. You owe me, and you know it. I have to admit, having you under my thumb feels nice. It'll almost be a shame to cash out. Oh no, I'm definitely going through with it. It's not that much of a shame. Besides, I haven't eaten yet tonight. And with you hanging around me like perfume, I'm fucking starving. I'm not going to drain you. If I was planning to, do you seriously think I'd be carting your ass through the forest and back to civilization? I might as well just finish you off out here and save myself the cleanup. Well, yeah, I'll have to admit, it's a tempting thought. But I don't get seconds if I kill you. You say that now. Maybe you'll discover you have a biting kink and come back willingly. Or maybe I'll just pin you up against the wall or whatever filthy alley you stake out when you're back on your regular beat and take what I want. I was wondering when you'd remember about that. I'll give you your necklace back after I eat. You do realize I don't have any free hands right now anyways, right? What do you want me to do? Put you down, dig up your trinket, wait for you to finish getting kitted up, and then pick you back up again? You're fucking infuriating, Hunter. We don't have much further to go anyway. Can't you see the lights through the trees? Of course not. Shitty human eyesight. Well, take it from me. We're almost there. Actually, where are we going after this? My place or yours? What? Did you think I was just going to bite you in the middle of the street? I'm going to take my sweet time drinking you. And I'd prefer it be somewhere comfortable. I don't suppose you'd be willing to invite me into your dwelling? Worth a shot? Well, I suppose that means... You're coming over to my house. Or we could rent a hotel room. I'm not sure I'd feel safe with you knowing where I sleep. I already know what it feels like to be human. One out of ten stars, being a vampire is way more enjoyable. What?
while you never asked. Don't tell me you didn't realize I was a human once. You're a hunter. You're supposed to know how this works. I thought you were good. And here you are, caught up on something as simple as... Fuck! You didn't have to hit me. Ah, did you hurt your little fingers? Want me to kiss them better? You just won't drop it, will you? Fine. I was turned about a hundred years ago. Exactly that. Actually, in a few months. The big one zero zero triple digits. Mm. I'm throwing a party. And you better not gatecrash that one. At best, I'd have you for dinner. Well, at worst, I'd make you play some party games first. Ours are a little bloodier, as a general rule. Sorries are one thing, but you haven't partied with vampires until you've gone to a rowdier engagement. Oh, such a disgusted face. It's kind of cute. Like a pug. All right. I think we're close enough now. If I do you the favor of not dropping you, will you do me the favor of not running out on your bill? We're going to have quite an enjoyable evening. Well... I will, anyways. For you to have any fun, you'd have to let me into that head of yours. You can think about it on the way to the hotel. I'm thinking Pentel Suite somewhere, yeah? Taxi!